Hello and good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Henry, we're a small to medium sized farm in the mid north of South Australia. And at the moment, we are getting down to our final acres of wheat harvest for 2021. Uh, we've probably we've got about three paddocks to go, maybe about 200, 250 acres, something like that. And right now, we're going to go get right on into it. Let's do it. Now, we had but a bit of an incident yesterday. Must have scooped up a rock or something like that, uh, blocked up the feeder house. Hopped out. Well, we tried to reverse the feeder house. It sounded absolutely terrible. Dad was there with me at the time. He was looking up there. Couldn't see anything. We dropped the rock trap, couldn't find anything in there. Um, we ended up removing the front, so we could have a good look up the feeder house. We opened all the doors up underneath, had a look in, could not find anything. Anything at all, nothing. So we ended up putting the front back on, just got going because we needed to get harvesting, the weather was good. Uh, I thought I'll lift the straw chopper up just in case this finger here is in the machine and it wants to go through or there's a rock in the machine. Couldn't get the straw chopper up, it was all a bit of a disaster to be honest and in the end I just put the front on and I just went for it and I didn't hear anything go through the machine, nothing go out the straw chopper. So I have no idea what happened, it must have been a tiny little slaty rock which just hit this finger and broke up or something like that. So anyway, it was all just a bizarre situation but now I've got to replace this, so we're going to get to that. And that's why we couldn't find it. It's in the drum. That's good. I'm happy that we found it. <laughs> well, that is very annoying. There's two clips here. I've got that one there. So that holds that together. This one here, that goes down through there and it's uh, broken the clip, it snapped the end off of it down the bottom here, just there. So I can't put that finger in until I get one of those clips. Now, it's not that urgent, but it's going to require a trip to the dealer. And I thought I had everything to do with the job here, retractable fingers, I got all the hardware clips, but I didn't realise there was one other R clip. So that's very annoying. Always something. Alrighty, well, I'm back, and I have my clip. So let's get this done. Yes, got him. No, no, I was supposed to put that on first. Oh, are you kidding me? See, if you know what you're doing, it's easier. <laughs> There we go, there we go, new cap, new ball, and that is how you do a retractable finger all the wrong way. Right, done. Back to it.
I've shifted over to the last paddock of wheat. Uh, it is about 29 hectares. So I've just cut into it. We're I'm waiting on Dad to bring a bin on full. We could be finished wheat today. And that would be pretty awesome, but also kind of sad at the same time, so. That is it ladies and gentlemen, winding down another day of harvest, windscreen wiper in the way, that is all the wheat we have left for 2021. She's just about, little. she's just about in the books if I can spit my words out. I think I'm becoming delirious after sitting behind this wheel for so many hours a day. <laughs> There it is. Boom, out. There it is, there's the last of it. All done. Final unload of wheat. Alrighty, good morning guys. Well, it is the day after we finished the wheat. I'm feeling a bit rusty. It's been a big couple of weeks. Uh, today is supposed to be about 40 degrees and really windy, so I believe, well, it's looking like it's going to be a total fire ban, which means no harvesting for us today, but, well, possibly. Well, who knows? We'll see how the day pans out. It's nice and early in the morning. It's still nice and cool, so I'm going to head up to the paddock. There's a couple of things I need to look at on the header, we'll see if we can get some things shifted back. Even when you go for a drive around after seeding and you think you've got them all, there's always one. I noticed that one last night. Well, I felt it anyway. Ugh! Well, what we had planned today was to come and harvest this barley, this cracking barley for some seed for next year. The only problem is after all that rain that we had, it is just like, it's turned green again. It is so green uh, in spots. I, I really don't know whether we can harvest it. Like there's spots that have gone completely off and then like out over here, it's just like a mat of green underneath. So I don't know whether we can get out here and, and uh, harvest this stuff, but I don't know. I mean, the head is right there. So I guess if we're gonna give it a go, we might as well do it while we're here. Otherwise, this is going to take forever to ripen down this stuff. It's so green. So there's a couple of reasons I wanted to come up early today. Number one, I can't get the straw chopper up at the back here. It's got this electric actuator on it. It just seems to like click and carry on and not go up. It's really annoying because if we want to do any towing like of the trailer for the front, we need to get the straw chopper up. If we need to get into the back end to look at the sieves or anything like that, we need to get the straw chopper up. Well, we can't do that at the moment, so... Yep, anyway, I just thought uh, once I had the straw chopper all cleaned down, I'd have another go at it, but... You know, like, shut the machine down, turn it on again, see if that fixes it sort of thing. <laughs> The guy from Deer told me that this actuator goes out on them, so I bet you that's probably a thousand dollars. And of course the other drama that started yesterday was... said moisture meter relay fault. That's the moisture meter, I don't know, that's some exotic looking thing for a moisture meter, I don't know why it's so damn huge, but... Yeah, that went out. Started faulting yesterday, so I thought I'd come up and have a look at that this morning. So I guess I'll, uh have a fiddle around with this and 
See if I can't get anywhere. I don't really know. I've heard something about you can change the relay in these moisture meters, which I think is down in here somewhere, but I don't really know. It says it has a relay fault. And I'll pull this cover off the plunger down here. We'll give it all a good blowout. Ah, get me out of here. Well, I've got it ticking over at the moment. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have no idea whether it's working or not until I put it into the crop, so. But the warning's not up on the screen anymore, so. Don't know. One thing I do know is that my brain is not working this morning. It, it has been a busy couple of weeks, honestly. Woo, put those bad boys back on. <laughs> morning, how are ya? I was just going to let you know there is a load there for a road train whenever you want it. See that auger? That is not supposed to look like that. Poor old dad having a bad run. He ran straight over it with the loader. Well there had to be some action at harvest time. Like, it couldn't all be smooth sailing so we had the bog truck, uh, we overheated the loader, and now we've uh, had an auger run over as well. <laughs> Hopefully that's all the drama we really have. I don't really think that I need too much more excitement in my life than those three things. All right, I was just speaking to Dad and I think basically we're gonna can that Kraken barley for now because it's just way too green, it looks too green. It's a fire ban today. It's really windy, it's gonna get really, really hot soon. So, we're just gonna can the day, basically. We're gonna just move the header back down here. We've got a little bit of wheat up there. We've got a road train load of wheat there to go out. So, I'm gonna run the auger up there in a minute. Need, I need a bit of a rest, to be honest. I'm, you know when, you, you know when you're just totally worn out and uh, like I'm just, I'm just losing my patience at the tiniest little things at the moment, so. Probably a good idea to just to use the day, since it's a bad day, and just get a couple of small jobs done and, and refresh a little bit, and we'll push on and get the last little bit done after that. It is just fast becoming absolutely gross out there. Right, it is the wind, it's just picking up dust off the road, it's hot. Hey, at least the bloody wind keeps the flies away though, that's the main thing. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm gonna go help this truck load and then, I don't know why I'm there, I might as well connect to the auger and drag that home and then we'll come back up and we'll get the front off the header and think about shifting that, then the chassis bin, then the other field bin. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he's loaded and sorted. All right, back to grab the bin. So that there, that paddock right there, that's our last 20 hectares of barley to do here around home. Uh, all the rest of the crop around all of our blocks here at home has all been harvested. The only thing left is a couple of paddocks uh, of barley out of Bilele North there to do. But as for today, I'm just going to leave this video here because it is hot and filthy and disgusting out here. We're not going to be doing much else for the day. Uh, I can show you guys moving bins and stuff like that back, but you know, it's pretty boring. So I'm just going to grab a couple of other things from up in the paddock. And then I might have a bit of R&R for the day. And I reckon that sounds like a bloody good idea. So. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, take it easy. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.